Hello, what's up and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and today I'm showing you all of my thrift store holy grails. So as of late, I've seen a lot of people that I'm subscribed to post videos about their thrift store fails. And I really want to do that video too. But I figured, let's start on a lighter note. Um, and let's show all of my holy grails because I know that that's the most easily accessible to me because they're my favorite things. So to start, I guess we'll start with shoes because I only have two and one is a pair of sneakers and they are these Nike Airs. I thrifted these for only $12, which is insane and they fit me perfectly. So I'm very lucky to have smaller feet. These are actually kids shoes in the largest size available, but I love the blue, green and purple and they like the soles barely worn i've worn these a bunch of times to campus and i definitely want to start doing like old school of, of like the week videos especially because i'll be in grad school and i will have most of the day available to me to actually film so these you'll probably see in the future i think you might have seen them before i don't know if i ever included them in a video i think i might have actually they get a lot of wear especially like in the fall and uh like spring months I don't always wear them in the summer honestly I don't know why so maybe I should because they are really cute and I love the colors so the other pair of shoes are these like Doc Martin uh, dupes so my target donates a lot of their clearance to the Goodwill that is kind of near me and I just found these there for also $12 I don't know what it is with me and finding $12 shoes but that is like the lucky number. They fit perfectly. And these shoes, my sister actually sent me a picture of at Target saying that I should get them because they looked like shoes that I would own. And then I said, that's so funny because I literally thrifted those for $12. Love them, they get a ton of wear. I actually brought these with me on vacation to Costa Rica. They are like a heavier sandal. So if you're not used to that, um, you're gonna feel it in your legs, but your calves will look nice afterwards, so it's worth it. But yeah, love these. Staying in the tune of clothes, I will show you my favorite pair of pajamas I've ever thrifted ever. I'm pretty sure this is something I've also showed in my channel. I've had these for a long time now. I wanna say like 2021, maybe before 2020, but it is like these coral shorts with the floral, as you can see, it's a lot of wear on them. I wear them a lot. So it's the shorts and then it has a little matching tank top. And this material, it's like really slinky, super comfortable and like breathable. And it's like the perfect little matching set. It's really cute to like just wear and lounge around the house in. I probably obviously would never wear this out in public because these are genuinely pajamas, but the top you could probably wear some way to make it like more acceptable for the daytime. I just don't do that. But I love them and they're very near and dear to me. Last summary item are these Bill Blast shorts. I actually thrifted pretty recently. I don't know if these made it in a video. I think that they were supposed to if they weren't in my last thrifting video because I th basically my thrift with me for summer clothes, I filmed afterwards and I'm pretty sure I meant to include these if I didn't. So anyways, I thrifted these way before I filmed that, but as you can see, the Bill Blast jeans. So my only gripe with them is that since they're the stretch material and the legs are a lot wider than I would like, I think I wanna do an upcycle video on them and just put like little darts in the back. I know it's doable, I just think with the way that my legs are in these shorts, I just don't like how they make my legs look way smaller than necessary if that makes sense i don't know having like a chicken leg look is something i've always kind of been like a little self-conscious of since i was younger because i was always like the very thin side growing up so i would like to eliminate that <laughs> if possible and these might end up being in a video but i'm also very scared to do it because i don't want to ruin them because i also love them they literally fit so perfect in the waist and everywhere else it's just the legs are a little wide that's it so now for clothes, I really only have like three more things and they're kind of wintry, but we're gonna talk about them anyways. So to start, I thrifted these Levi men's jeans 
They are 505s, which makes sense why I like them so much. There's just something about these jeans and they fit perfect. Like the length is perfect. I have very long legs. These are, I'm pretty sure, 34s. Yeah, 29 34s. So if that's any reference for you, the 34 is the inseam and not the outer seam. And they are like at least like an inch or so longer, which is nice because they're not like to my ankle bone. If like they were 32s, then they'd be to my ankle bone. But I really love these. I love how they fit everywhere. Like they fit my thigh is great. They fit my waist great. They fit everything honestly perfect. And if I could literally get this type of fit in jeans and like other colors and brands, that'd be amazing. I really want to try out Abercrombie jeans because they've had like a major change in like the last few years since when I was younger and it used to be extremely popular to wear Abercrombie and Fitch. And my cousin wears a lot of their jeans and she swears by them. And I actually got a pair of them from my sister-in-law and they fit me pretty good, but I think that they were just like a little too short, which is why I don't wear them. But I do really want to try their jeans because I just am tired of having like crappy quality jeans that just are too baggy in some areas and then fit poorly in others and good in others. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just a gripe that I have with pants, unfortunately. Up next is another wintry fall item and you've definitely seen this before, uh, probably with me wearing it or sometimes on my TikTok I'll post like outfit of the day videos. At least I did a lot when I was in undergrad. I really want to start doing that again, but also I don't really care for TikTok. I'd rather just post on YouTube, so who knows? Anyways, <laughs> it is this like tannish sweater with a collar. And I love this thing. I wear this in the winter like almost once a week. It, I love it that much. There's just something about the way it fits. It's just so perfect. I love it. And I mean, if you don't have a collared sweater, you should get one and just try it because I'm not a collar person, but there's just something about this that I just, I love it. It's really cute. The last clothing item is this denim jacket, or it's like a denim button up shirt. This is a Bob Mackie wearable art embroidered denim like shirt. I thrifted this, I want to say definitely when I first started my channel because I know I talked about this on my channel because there is a story behind this. I said it in my video where I found it, just so you can see the flower on the back and then the flowers on the sleeve. Basically, long story short, I, I unfortunately went thrifting on senior day. This was pre-COVID and I don't know what it was with some of the old ladies, but something must have been in the air and they were just constantly going like in front of me, trying to like purposely like pick things that are I'm literally about to look at. I don't, I don't know. Sometimes those seniors though are really serious about thrifting. So am I one piece of advice if you've never gone? Don't go on senior day. I think it's Tuesdays at Savers. Anyways, aside from the point. But long story short, this lady cut me off and I was trying to look at the jackets and I think she was looking at like a leather jacket that I was trying to look at, but whatever. I ended up walking past her and you know, going in front of her, cause like, how rude, you're gonna go in front of me when there's an entire aisle. And that, that's where I found that. And I literally saw the sleeves and I threw it in my cart and she looked at me up and down and was very upset. I still remember that. That's how impactful it is. And I, that's how much I love that jacket. Do I like it because I spitefully got it because of an old lady? No, I love it because there's flowers and it's embroidered. <laughs> It's kind of a goofy story, honestly, because it's just, it's just like so random about how you find some things that you end up just keeping forever. Like I've had that thing for at least almost six years now. So I think it was 2018 that I got it. Um, crazy how time flies. Okay, so right now my next little section is gonna be like accessories and jewelry because there is some stuff that is new that I have not stopped wearing that I'm not wearing currently because I didn't want to be distracting in this video. But to start, we'll start with like kind of accessories. Um, and that's all the brooches that are currently on my Bagu dupe. Little honorable mention right here for all of my brooches. So starting right here is my moon brooch and it has like a little gem for a little cheek. Like a little cheek thing, it's like a little sparkly. 
This is a Luna Moth pin that my old coworker had given me before I quit Ulta. Um, I don't know if she watches my videos, but if she does, Melissa, I freaking love this thing. It's so cute, and it's got the little moon dangly, so it goes with the theme. Here's my tried and true little fairy girl. She's kind of a recent pickup. This I got recently. My cousin found it and literally threw it in my hands and was like, you need this for your purse. Um, so thank you, Chelsea, for this. This I got in an eBay lot, and I'm going to show you the other pin that came with it afterwards. But it is a silver star with a gold swirl. I have my locket, little brooch that there's still nothing in it. I gotta get something in it. And then finally, this is another one from the same eBay lot and in there, Lily of the Valleys. Growing up at my dad's house, we had a ton of these in the backyard and at my grandparents' lake house. And they're just like one of my favorite flowers. They smell good. They smell like old lady perfume if you've never smelled them. But it's just like such a beautiful brooch. But because it's heavy, it just like flops. So I think I wanna get like a little safety pin and pin, cause there's, Obviously little spots right here. So pin it up so it doesn't do that. But this is where we're at with the brooch bag. And she is cute and very on theme. So another brooch that came in that eBay lot that I mentioned is this one. I think it's supposed to be like the Michelangelo creation of David. Oh, I'm so bad with remembering names of things. Editing Taylor, put it here please. Um, but basically, I, in high school, got to go on an Italy trip and go and see this painting in person in the Sistine Chapel. So that was cool. And when I looked at this up, when I came across the eBay lot, I Google lens searched this and the silver star with the gold swirl. That looks to be handmade though, but this is not. This I found on Etsy for 60 something bucks or 50 some, 50, 60 bucks. And it's supposed to be like a real like thing. So I don't know, but it's sick and I love it. And if it doesn't go on, it's probably not gonna go in the brooch bag cause I just don't think it matches, but I might put it on my backpack honestly, just cause it's cool. A few jewelry items or a few of these also are from eBay lots by the way. I have a new shopping addiction on there and I'm very happy I stopped when I did because I bought like four jewelry lots in like a month. But if you like vintage jewelry, that is honestly the place to go. One, I'm really sad that I didn't win. Me and this person went crazy with betting, but they had to pay almost $90 for the lot that I wanted. So jokes on them. Just kidding, that's mean. Is it though? No, they, they tried to outbid me at the last second and they did. And it hurt my heart. Literally the three second countdown I was winning and then they outbid me. Anyways, so to start after that long-winded story is this locket ring with a little cherub. So this is an Avon ring, so I think my light is a little too bright, so it's not gonna show well. But basically it's like a silver silver ring and it's a locket. No photo in it. I literally just got it, I wanna say a few weeks ago. But I've always wanted like something like this, and I love silver jewelry, so I'm very happy that I have it and it's silver. When I saw the listing, I did not think that it was a locket ring. I'll tell you that. Did not think it was a locket ring, but I think it'd be cute to put a picture of Mark in it and then, I don't know, maybe something different. Another item from eBay is this silver sun bracelet. I really like this. I got it for like 20 bucks, but it is sterling silver, which is nice. I mean, for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. It's got the 925 stamp on it. Should I clean it? Probably. But I also kind of like the weathered um, silver look. These next two bracelets were also in jewelry lots. Not the one that I was talking about previously, but a different one. My one of four that I won. And it is this like little cab bracelet in gold. And it has an extender on it, which is very nice. It fits great without it. But with the extender it is very helpful because then it's like a little bit looser and not too much movement going on. And then the other one is this also vintage -y cab bracelet. I don't think all of these stones are real. I'm sure some of them are like glass or whatever, but they are very pretty and I like the multi tone to it. I love color and I love natural stones. So that is why I bid on them and I'm very happy that I got those lots for like 15 bucks, which is not a bad deal if 
you know how much those kind of things can go for. Last little accessory is actually something I got recently when my cousin drove past me and I saw her and her mom, which is my aunt, and was like, where are you guys going? And they're like, we're going to Savers. And I was like, count me in, I'm in there. So I found this vintage two-toned little bracelet watch. I've always wanted one of these. It's very precious and I like that it's gold and silver because when it comes to these bracelets that I just showed you, I literally wear these together. I don't care um, about mixing metals personally and I don't care if people think it looks bad. I like it, so that's what I personally do. So now I have a jewelry piece that ties it together because it's two-toned. I do need to get the battery replaced if I want it to work, but I also just might wear it as is for now. I'm very happy with this and I mean, would you believe me if I told you I only paid six bucks for it? I feel like people on TikTok were going crazy and selling a bunch of these for like a lot of money. I mean, I get it. I get it. Reselling is a job, but sometimes the price that they be charging people is crazy. Especially if they don't work. To me, that's the craziest part, but whatever. The last few items I have to show you are some holy grail home items, like home or home decor. It's mostly home use items, but I guess one's kind of decor, but not really, but we'll start with it. This has definitely been included in a video before, and it is this recipe box. It has like little daisies on it and recipes. And then inside I have recipes and index cards for when I need to write down recipes. So you got some goodness in there. Um, growing up, my mom had something like this, but it looked like a house. And to get the, to the recipes, you take the roof off. And I don't know, there's just something kind of nostalgic about it, but also like useful because, yeah, you could have it on your phone, but I mean, let's be serious. If you accidentally delete that photo, your recipe is gone. But you're not gonna accidentally throw out a written down recipe. So if I didn't have this, my next solution was gonna actually do like make my own cookbook out of a binder, which is always an idea if you wanted to make like a cohesive cookbook type of thing. But I really like this. It's mostly gonna be for baking recipes and stuff like that. Or if I inherit the recipes from my mom, they will go in here. So the last two sets of items are cups. I know, that sounds silly. But the first two are these two different like vintage floral glassware. First of all, the colors match perfectly. Um, I got these at two separate times. These ones, my old boss thrifted for me, and I believe it was six of them for like $15, 20 bucks. She got them at an antique store, but then these ones, I got eight of them at Savers for $8. I like these ones better. I just think like the pattern is prettier, but these are really cute, and I love that they literally match perfectly with each other. Very nice. I like the shape of them, and they are really useful for making coffee, which is what my next cup is for. So this is another cup that I thrifted and definitely have shown before on the channel. I actually mix my espresso mix in here. I've been on my instant espresso kick lately. This is the perfect cup to mix espresso in. I put the amount of water right below for his foot for me, and then if I need more, I just get my measuring cup and put it in there, but it is a perfect small cup to mix it in, and I don't know, I just love it. It's, it's just, I love the shape and everything about it. And it's an Ikea cup, by the way. I don't know if they make this pattern anymore, but they have other cups like this. I don't know for certain, only because there's not an Ikea directly near me. It is a troop to the shore. And I am not. The last, I guess, items I should share with you would be all of the photos that made it onto my gallery wall, which is right to the left of me. On there, I have like a bunch of lithographs or paintings, like actual hand done paintings. I have a vintage mirror on there. I'm gonna overlay a clip, obviously, you're probably already looking at it now, but every single photo on these I thrifted and except for the real butterfly that is up at the top. And I really love every single one of these that are on the wall. I do have a few more that still need to go up. So you won't see them now, but eventually I'll get them up and maybe I'll show you the updated version of it. 
Alrighty, and that is all I have for you today. So if you enjoyed videos like this or you like maybe sewing stuff, thrifting stuff, me just being me in front of the camera, I don't know if you know me that well enough to like that, but if you do, feel free to subscribe as always. Leave a comment down below if there's a video you want to see from me. I heard a rumor that I do reply to most comments. But without further ado, I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye!